Right, one extra thing is that I have tied a small noose here ready to start me off at the end of the cord so that the first fixing around the neck of the bag is this noose and then I'll wind the rest on afterwards. Now I'm rolling the high tech putty. It comes in two different colours and you have to knead it and roll it together until the colour is uniform and then it's ready for use. It's, it's just like putty or plasticine, whatever, modelling clay. And I think I've done that now. It's uh, a light grey colour. So I'm going to put some underneath where the leather's going to be. Just sort of squeeze it in there. That's going to hold the leather in place. A little bit fiddly. some more of it on. First time I've used it. I think probably just the putty on its own would do fine. And then the uh, tiny cord can tie in, it can actually bite into it and as it dries it will create its own seal. used one blob of the putty because it comes in little capsules as you can see uh, and I've used one out of the six there right, next thing is to insert the stock into the bag through the zip and here we have the charter end of the bag. Nice tight fit. And that's about it, I think. Yeah, I can feel the groove. Okay, next thing to tie it in. Right, next thing, I've got the bag here with the chanter stock inserted and it's about half halfway protruding from the uh, end of the bag. Uh, here I've got this, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, dowel piece of wood with the tining cord wrapped around it, the noose on the end ready. So that's going to go on the floor in a minute. The noose is now, I mean, I'm going to place that round about where the uh, groove is on the chanter stock so that it bites into the high tech putty thing, which is going to be soft for the next 10 minutes or so. And what I'm now going to do, you might, you can't see it really, is to. Um, put this dowel and hold it with my feet and then pull against it to get a really good tight uh, joint. I'm now going to have to move the camera I think. Now you can see it now. I'm going to hold the dowel with my feet, the bar of wood, and pull against it. I haven't quite got the cord in the right place, just finding that groove filled with the putty. I think I've got it now. And I'm now going to pull tight against the 
down. So now twisting the, the bag, getting some pressure on the, the dowel, pulling hard, just slipping all over the place, there we go, cord is biting into the groove, into that uh, putty stuff, and at this stage Got to mention, I've got another piece of uh, old tining cord which I've made into a loop. Now what I'm going to do there is halfway through the tie-in I'm going to place that loop across the uh, hemp that I've already tied around the groove and then I'm going to tie that in as well. You probably missed most of that, so I'll just demonstrate what I've done. Uh, I've wound all the tining cord round. I've incorporated the extra loop from using some old tining string. And so the end of the tining string that I'm using, I'm going to tuck that in the short end of the loop, like that. And then I'm going to pull the loop through under the tie-in string that's actually doing the job. So and that will then this is instead of tying a knot really. Now I don't know if you can see, it's just starting to pull the end of the tie-in string under the rest of it. There, yeah, and I've done it. And that just leaves a ty tidy finish and I'm just going to snip that off to uh, complete. There we go, so that's it there. And hey presto, one complete chanter stock tied in. I'm now going to deal with the other stocks, the blowpipe stock first, and then the three drone stocks.